we can win. I don't care if we win. How? All the questions can be answered by a few set responses. That's not gonna work. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, but just in case. If it's a location, we say Hawaii. If it's a food, we say pizza. If it's an activity, it's jumping jacks. If it's a color, we say black. If it's a number, we say 22. That's stupid. Here we go. Rachel, what were the women that Harry dated before you like? <laughs> that is Kristen Bell. Our movie is called Like Father. It's on Netflix. It's a Netflix movie. Yeah. Kelsey Grammer is uh, your dad in the movie. Yes. He, you work with Ted Danson on The Good Place. Yeah. He's on uh, together. You've got like half the cast of Cheers yeah. already. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get them all. You gotta get Woody. You gotta get, get Norm. You gotta get. Well, Cliff. they're all. They're truly. And even when I asked Ted, I'm like, I think I might do this movie with Kelsey Grammer, and he was like, Just do it. Just do it. He's truly one of the best actors of this generation. He is a great actor. He's incredible. And like the story is about a girl who gets left at the altar and then gets hammered with her estranged father that night and they accidentally board the honeymoon cruise together. So they have all these issues, he abandoned her and they have no, ch they're like caged in this, on this boat together because they, you're not supposed to say boat, it's a ship. Mm -hmm. They're caged on this ship together and they can't get off so they have to sort of work out all their issues. But working with Kelsey was like, it was like a drama lesson for me. He's incredible. Now this was the movie and correct me if I'm wrong, but we spoke to you on video chat because it was when Hurricane Irma hit. Oh, yeah. And you were, like, taking care of a, a group of senior citizens or something, right? Well, yes and no. I mean, there, when we evacuated our 80-person crew to the Epcot Center in Orlando, and then they also, Epcot, took on, like, a bunch of um, senior citizens' homes because they needed a place to go that was stable building with a generator. And we just had to make it work. And so, I mean, I called two ambulances during that time because they were dropping like flies. Mm -hmm. No one knew where, I mean, truly, like, people would, like, walk in the hallway and, like, just kind of have a heart attack. And we, I mean, it was, it was kind of real, but at the same time, we were like, okay, we're together, what do we do? And I'm like, what do we do? What do they like? Bingo, they like bingo. Got a bingo ball, <laughs> started calling bingo. I also, because I'm very nosy, went right to the director of Atria Senior Living, and I was like, okay, so I have 80 able-bodied people who are doing a whole lot of nothing, what do you need? And they're like, well, we have a lot of wheelchairs, we need to wheel them down to breakfast, because Epcot's very big. So I would text, like, a massive group text, and we'd drive all of them down, and they really had, they, they were working under incredible pressure, because a lot of these old folks' homes, like, they, the ninth floor, where Paul Downs was staying on the ninth floor, that was like the dementia ward. And there were people, I mean, just walking out of their room with no clothes on. I mean, they had to administer, like, medication. And they, I couldn't have been prouder of, like, the volunteers that were there, and even people off the street. Because a lot of the attendants at the nursing home went home to their families to keep them safe. And then random people started volunteering and were like, I can help, what do you need? And it was kind of beautiful. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. An evil wizard has trapped me inside this YouTube video. Click subscribe to help me escape.